This is a video about intermediate slices and flatland finishing. A colleague of mine was in a customer's the other day and he noticed that they were machining apart um, and uh, he saw the need for intermediate slices and the customer didn't even know that Edgecam could do this so I just thought it would be worth mentioning it to people because you might not know about this. Um, what I've got here is a cone. It's just a made up part, it's rubbish really. But it demonstrates what I'm trying to show. Um, I've put some stock around it and I've stuffed it in a nice neat little table chuck there to machine it. And I've picked up this uh, end mill to machine it. Um, this is my machining sequence. Just want to swap this end mill because I just want to be able to show you something um, later. Um, it's a 16 mil end mill. Uh, I'm going to use that one. Select. Okay. I'm just going to regenerate that, which it's uh, doing for me. And um, if we move into simulation, you can watch this whizzing round machine in this part. And you'll see it's cutting the depth of cut that I've told it. Okay. And it's done two cuts, which is correct because we actually said to it the depth. It's using associativity, so it's looking at the depth of the model, and it's doing 20 mil cuts. So rightly so, it um, it went down, did two 20 mil cuts. But you and I both know, if we look at the model, it hasn't machined this area down here, and it also. He didn't machine the top and this is because it's just roughed it but we didn't tell it to detect any flat land in other words any area that's flat so what it does is rather than just do a series of 20 millimeter cuts it will do the 20 mil cuts and then do extra cuts to cover the flat land so that whatever finishing allowance you've got on there it will leave that on those flat lands so let's just close that Go to the roughing again, and if you look on the depth tab, there's this, it says detect flat land. I'm going to switch that on, and it shows you there, look, you can see what it's doing. Nice little edge cam, I've put this on for you, and it's telling you, click this to ensure that there is a cutting pass at the height of any flat region. This prevents material being left on machine, exactly what I've told. So let's OK that. I think that's regenerated and then we'll move over and run the simulation again so she comes around first 20 mil second 20 mil and then it says oh there's a bit left I'll do that oh and there's a bit left on the top I'll do that so now we've got a situation where it's machined the whole thing which is great so that's our flatland machining works it's looking for that flat land now don't switch this on all the while because I'm told that it uses quite a lot of resources and it will slow it down so if you don't need it there is no flat land don't bother with it now the second thing I want to talk about here is um, if you look at this tab here it says intermediate slices edit and have a look at that inside and what this means is it means that when you're left with these big steps which is your depth of cut and what you've left from your flatland you might want to get rid of those steps and just nicely uh, machine the rest of the model up so I could say for example you'll see better when I show you so I'm going to use a 20% step over the same but I'm going to say this time I want a cutter increment of 1 mil and a percentage this final bit that it's going to cut I could say uh, machine it faster I could put something like 120 so it'll be 120% of the feed rate that's in there. So let's just OK that. And um, it's regenerating on its own there. See that green tab? So just give that a little second. And then we'll move into the 
um, simulation and I'm going to run this and this time it comes in does exactly the same as before one cut two cuts three cuts oh it's clobbered the part again this is where edge comes really good because we know exactly how far to stick this cutter out it showed us a collision the body of the cutter has clobbered that I'm going to show you how to sort that out in a minute for the time being I'm going to switch it off I'm going to say don't collision detect carry on because I just want to see what's going to happen here and can you see what it's doing look it's coming along and it's taking away all the bits that are left so effectively it's making this nice for me now if I needed to machine that with a ball nose cutter I could just come in and nicely finish that off without having to get rid of all these great big steps so that's how the intermediate slices works so I could make those as big as I wanted um, but what I'm going to do in the meantime is I the cutter isn't sticking out the body far enough so I'm going to change that I'll use a longer tool here's a longer tool it's about 20 mil longer what I'm also going to do this time is just to just to demonstrate this doing another region just let it do that uh, I'm going to show you now I'm going to make this intermediate slice a bit bigger so you can see a bit more I'm going to make it 5mm say just to show you exactly how you can do this um, and what will happen now is it will do this but this time we'll get these in I'm going to put this always run with this collision detect on I mean it, you don't want to run with it off because you might just miss that collision bearing in mind this is all happening in the surreal world if that's such a word in other words it's not on your machine it's not breaking your cutters so that's what it with a 5mm and now we know this cutter doesn't clobber it so that's intermediate slices for you very very useful um, very useful tool in this great software that we've got called EdgeCam that does all this for us okay Thank you very much for listening to my video.